Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and like always, I'm Brian. So Rock Band has challenged the road crew to make a 16-song ultimate set list to be performed sometime this weekend for a gig. And if you want to see my list, I'm going to be talking about it right now with a little bit of Chanley style. Alright guys, so if you follow me on social media, you know, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, then you've probably seen me post my list on this fancy high-tech piece of paper that, uh, you know, Rock Pen basically sent us a JPEG and I printed it off and I drew on it with my fancy handwriting. So my set list, I think it's the ultimate set list because it's got a little bit for everyone. It's got all the songs I love to play, sing, do whatever. And it's got highs, it's got lows, it's got breaks, so that I'm not constantly thrashing my arms trying to keep up with really hard solos. I've got slower songs that I also like to perform. And, you know, it just I think it's a good balance. And then it ends on, like, the best high note ever. So let me talk about this. First up, I've got Call Me Maybe. And you know what? I know it's a goofy song. Uh, it's not very whatever. But you know what? I think it's a good intro song. It's really fun. It's easy to perform. It's a pretty decent warm up. And I think it sends a message. If you've never seen my stream before, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's go on. Next up, I have Wanted Dead or Alive. It's another great song. And it's a little bit harder. Uh, I'm pretty good at playing it, and I know a lot of people enjoy it, so that's why I wanted to put it second. It's, and it's building from this point. Now comes the hard song, Carry On, Wayward Son. I have always loved Kansas, and I like this song. It's pretty hard, and I thought it was a good place to put it just because that's where it builds to its high point before I have to, you know, take a break from my hand hurting. Now we're going to back it down a little bit, and we're going to play Weezer Say It Ain't So. Uh, it's kind of slow. I like it. It still plays really well. Next up, we have All Star. Fun, happy song. Starting to build back up. You know, getting the blood going. Then, Tribute. If you guys don't know what Tribute is, maybe you should check out Tenacious D. That song is awesome. It's pretty hard to play, but it's really fun to sing, and it's, it's, a, it's a fun song. Then I have Danny California. Once again, building up, getting harder. Still fun to play. Then I'm going to throttle it back a little for Crush, Crush, Crush. This song is just a good song to jump around to. It's pretty easy to play, and I'll probably have my wife step in and sing this one because it's a little too high for me, but, um, you know, it'll give me a chance to t give my voice a break and my hand a break. Next up, another fun song. Very, very obscure, I think, but I like it. It's Do You Want to Date My Avatar? And if you guys have ever seen The Guild, um... It's a really cool show. You guys should look it up. But that's where this song comes from, and I think it's fun. Then we've got A Favorite House Atlantic. This song isn't the hardest Coheed and Cambria song, but it's one of the ones I like to play, and I can get all the way through it. And it's pretty difficult, just like all their other songs, and it's fun to sing, so we're building back up again. Staying in the high pitch range, I, I went with I Write Sins, Not Tragedies. Uh, I know that uh, it's kind of weird to switch it up to go to, from Coheed and Cambria to Panic at the Disco, but I love both of those bands, and they've got pretty much the same vocal range, and I felt like they went pretty well together back to back. Still another hard song to play and really sing is Go Your Own Way. I uh, wanted to just kind of change it up a little bit, and um, I kind of thought that worked together. You know, you write sins. If you know the backstory of, um, you know, that whole CD written by Panic at the Disco, then you know what was happening in that song. So then if you go your own way, then it kind of works together. Then we have Creep. Uh, this is kind of a tribute to the person that got me in a rock band. It was one of his favorite songs to play. It's pretty easy, so it's a good break after all those, after those three hard songs. And it's really mellow, so it kind of brings the level down a little bit from uh, all the uh, energy that was coming out before that. Now we're building back up with Learn to Fly. Um, this was actually the first song I learned to sing and play at the same time. And plus I really like Foo Fighters. It's one of, the, it's one of their good songs. 
Now we're up to 15, which is Need You Tonight. Uh, I just think that's a fun song. It's getting back towards, like, you know, what I think it's late 80s, early 90s. So we're, we're taking it back a little bit. It's a great song. And then finally, number 16, Bohemian Rhapsody. I mean, what other great song could I end with? That, that was just like the, oh, yep, writing that on number 16, and now let's figure out the rest of the list. But yeah, boom, Bohemian Rhapsody. It's going to be a great set list. I hope you guys come and check it out tonight. Um, but yeah, my stream tonight is from 7 to 9, depending how long this set list is. Um, that's what I'm going to be playing. You guys should come check it out. Uh, the, the link to my Twitch channel is actually in the description, so if you guys click on that, it'll bring you over there. Uh, I've got a lot of other things. I don't know if you guys are into social media, but you know, if you've got a Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever you got, I try to be on a lot of things just to make my content as available as possible so you guys can check me out there. But this was my Rock Band Ultimate Set List done with some Chanley style.